New Dynasties event is here and we have got an 101 OVR Rivaldo card. So, how my dear subscribers, welcome back to the channel, guys. How are you guys doing? What's going on in life, bros? You can join my Discord server that is Batcave. The link has been given in the description, guys. You can also join Notorious 6 Warden community. The another link is given in the description itself as well. So, let's go, guys. By the way, this is the account of Notorious, and you know, he has a snipe the green Rivaldo for like uh, 160 million coins. That's quite good. And we're gonna rank him, and it's basically the time to test him out. So honestly saying this time Rivaldo has gotten four weak food. So he is looking pretty interesting to me, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna actually swap Taurus, you know, because I think Ginola five weak food is an advantage. But if this Rivaldo card could have gotten five weak food, then I could have actually, you know, like thought about him to get him in, into my team. Because nowadays, guys, I'm a power shot spammer. And honestly saying, I just love the five weak food cards. And I always try to get the five weak food cards, uh, having some certain exceptions. If I'm a fan of any particular player or card, then I can get him. So let's go guys ranking Mesherano ranking with Mesheranos honestly saying I'll be like using the 100% probability for ranking with Mesheranos because I don't want risk bro because you know what has happened I packed Dalglish in I am Dabre account from 3k gem and I literally wasted 7 Mesheranos on him for making him red like 1 or 2 at a time I don't know like what I was smoking bro but I wasted a lots of Mesheranos on ranking up Dal Dalglish guys. So I'll also suggest you to go with the 60% probability or just with the 100% probability. Don't try other than this. Okay. So yes, giving him up the skill points and <coughs> guys, uh, the right wing and striker alternate position could have been better, but I don't know like why EA didn't give him that. So training transfer of Torres towards Rivaldo. Uh, I think I'm short on transfer tokens. So yeah, I'll buy them. And let's go for actually ranking him, uh, like training him up. So 24 training has been given to Rivaldo here, guys. And honestly, I'm very excited to test him out. But before that, I think we should actually give him some more amount of training, you know, because you know what, guys, uh, I want to test him at full 25 training. He's a tradable card. So it would be quite good. Uh, four weak foot is good, man. Like the previous Rivaldo card uh, had three weak foot. So I think four weak foot this time is good. But no one would actually consider him for the left wing position due to the wrong foot, of course, because we have gotten so many better options like Kylian Mbappe, Nico Williams, and even Ronaldinho, guys. So yeah, but maybe some Brazil fan or someone. So I'll definitely like try to like, look at the stats, bro. Like 144 pace, 141 dribbling, 131 shooting is also nice. 119 passing as well. His passing stats are also pretty cool and he has gotten some good traits as well <laughs> including long shot taken my formation that is 4 to 3 1 white and i would love to actually try him at the camp position guys because i want to literally test him out at the camp position he's gotten 103 ovr at the camp and that is pretty weird i don't know why but let's see okay so i'll be going with the matches so these are all the recorded matches like i'm not playing live okay so i'm gonna talk about rivaldo i tested him in lots of head-to-head -head matches guys honestly saying his skills stun his fake shot stun everything is damn i mean he actually gave me the feeling and vibes of the previous year ronaldo uh rivaldo previous seasons rivaldo you remember the retro stars rivaldo that was great look at the fake shot stun bro his fake shot stun is so damn amazing in head-to-head -head. honestly one of the best fake shot stun in game and his skill stun feels like Haaland and Van Basten guys yes his skill stun is so good as well you can see Rivaldo his work rates are so good like he's always available in the attacking position and that is also something really good and look at the assist towards R9 guys Rivaldo even the passing is so good he's got an 119 passing at 25 training and when you're gonna train more he'll have like 140 visions which in which is actually good like if he is having a cam alternate guys then he can definitely behave as a cam with those good work rates and especially the passing and there we got intercepted because the stamina has drained and we can't do anything in that guys so overall i'm pretty confused like where to use rivaldo guys but look at this bro heal to heal one heal to heal and rivaldo is gone his skill stun bro but he the advantage over van basten and haaland is that rivaldo has gotten a bit better agility and dribbling compared to both of those cards because haaland and van basten are clunky guys like they are they both are clunky but i think rivaldo is pretty smooth compared to them so this might be a good option to consider and there we go one heel to heel and very easily he stunned the defense and look at that he's got a left foot as his strong foot but honestly still i'm not that much satisfied with his shooting guys i mean it could have been better maybe possible that he will get buff over the time and his shooting will get improved but still i'm not at all satisfied with his shooting though you can see i'm scoring the goals where he is actually scoring some good shots but i'll tell you guys like he actually missed lots of shots 
लाइक यू रिमेंबर मी आई ऑलवेज ट्राई टू यू नो लाइक डू पावर शॉर्ट्स I also tested him at the striker position, and I tried to spam power shots. But like goalkeeper was saving his power shot every time, and I cannot complain much, guys, because he is a left winger, and I he is not a striker like R9. He is not Troyer for Van Basten, a striker, because striker has always gotten better shooting compared to the wingers and uh, especially the cams. So uh, overall, dribbling wise, Rivaldo is so good. His skills and look at this, bro. You can literally spam and abuse him in the head to head. That's a certainty. If you use a formation which is four, uh, one two one two narrow, then you can try him as the cam. And not only cam guys, you can also try him at the striker position. He would be lethal, definitely. He would be lethal, bro. Look at this. Skill stun is also good, but look at the problem. You see the problem. Uh, that goalkeeper saved his shot. His shot is not having that much power like the strikers are having in this game. Okay, and having wrong foot. he is not usable at the left wing side as well so that's the only problem like if he could have gotten the right wing at as his alternate position then i could have considered him but for cams also guys there are so many good option even dalglish you seen he has also gotten his cam alternate so dalglish i personally think like could be a better option compared to rivaldo because of the shooting but it totally depends on you like what type of player you are if you are a player who uses van basten and haland type of cards to abuse the skill moves i mean this is your play style heel to heels and all you need an explosive card then rivaldo should definitely be your consideration guys this is my uh, look at this heel to heel and that was nice open a fake shot but lucio opponent defending very good there guys that is a very good move so as we were talking about rivaldo look at here he is making the runs he is good doing a very good dribbling but he is having the problem in the finishing that's my point guys dribbling skills and abusiveness everything is fine and the same case of van basten van basten also stuns like this but the thing is his shooting is so good like you finish each and every shot here you can see rivaldo and look at this bro i never expected that rivaldo can really miss this one his ball his shots was not even having a good curve though i applied a good amount of power but still i was really very confused <laughs> overall i don't know like what i should say it totally depends on your preference if you need just to run to abuse and you can manage with some other card and now look at this if you will be using him left wing this will be your problem his right foot is weak guys and that will be the very like good like a uh, big problem in the head to head but overall his skill stun is damn explosive i think one of the most explosive card which is present right now in the game is rivaldo and you can definitely get him for the abusiveness that's all for this amazing review video guys at last i want to say uh, that rivaldo skill stun abusive uh, abusiveness and explosiveness that is out of this world but the problem is with his finishing and uh, maybe possible like uh, actually you know at fc1 there is a lots of script but still i think by the time if he gets buff you can consider him but still guys for left wing nico williams is a better option compared to him for cam Krayev is a better option compared to him. Dalglish is a better option compared to him. If you want to use a right winger, then also there are so many better right wings compared to him. There is one more card that is Leroy Sane. I literally want to try him out, so I'll be definitely making a video on him as well. So that's all for this amazing video, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Let's meet in the another amazing video, guys. Chhe.